um, I shared with my trainer recently, um, just around my um, work. I'm a teacher, I work with teenagers. And um, I had such a strong sense of complete despair around it, um, which was so familiar. I'm also a musician, and so I've had a 20 years of hope and fear, despair and complete inspiration <laughs> constantly. <laughs> You know, with lots of normal times in between, and but definitely, I, I I know that dynamic in myself, and I've identified it very clearly through the training. Um, uh, that yeah, that I can bounce between those two extremes. So I just had a day of just like oh, you know, trying to build a flipping business. <laughs> this is so annoying. And just like, oh, what, yeah, is, is everything about, it. is this what I want to do? How am I going to do it? Can I be bothered to do it? Why do I have to do this? Why do we need money? All the, yeah, everything about, about it. And, um, and with the mainstays and with the support of this community and being able to write to a trainer, having a six-year practice of just relaxing with these things and everything that I've ever learned from coming to these meetings, listening to the talks, writing to, to Jochen, my trainer, and yeah, just taking short moments. The next day, that was just v very, very apparently turned into great beneficial potency, and I just was in complete attack mode for my business, just to, you know, and it, it sound, maybe that doesn't sound exciting or good to you, but it was just like not unflinchingly getting the things done that I need to get done to do what I really love doing, and I absolutely love teaching, working with teenagers and teaching. So I noticed it's not that, it's not a judgment, it's not an accurate judgment, oh, I feel despairing about my business, or, you know, I feel really excited about my business, it doesn't matter. Like, for 20 years I've worked with teenagers, I clearly <laughs> enjoy it, otherwise I wouldn't do it. Um, so yeah, my, just, just being able to um, not be flattened by that kind of circumstance when that comes up for a start, to know what that is, to know the nature of despair and to see the potency that despair really is and was in, 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 in those days, just, just to come out absolutely firing on all cylinders to um, move myself forward in that, um, in that business. And my, my reason for going to London was to go to a teaching conference. And just to, yeah, just to think that a day like that could have given me a whole new direction in life. I could have just given up and decided to do something else had two weeks of depression or misery or whatever it was, just indulging, um, partying or watching loads of videos or whatever you do, I don't know that. What, yeah, anything to just get away from these horrible, uncomfortable feelings of uh, despair around my profession or life in any way. It was amazing, yeah, and I wrote to Jochen just to say, wow, despair just completely turned into like really, really clear action. And, um, and uh, also his confirmation, you know, to write to him, to have someone just go, wow, that's a, that's a real achievement. That's a major, I mean, he, did, he didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's, that's how I interpret it. That is kind of what, kind of what he meant, but I, I won't um, yeah, try and paraphrase what he said. But yeah, the, the effect was just like, you know, that's, that's incredible. That's incredible, Henry, and, and just for the, for the practice, it is a result of the practice. Um, uh, the beneficial potency of all of these states that we otherwise really want to push away, uncomfortable feelings, negative feelings and thoughts. Um, yeah. <laughs>